need you to secure the memorial and remove the True Sun's forces. If they maintain this outpost, the True Sun's will be a direct threat to the campus. <laughs> Keep them from being able to transport those borders loaded with DC-62. watching random place this is radio gamer back on track loud and clear today we are having a new build for our part one on the last video we've had the Valmas exotic with the new hunter's fury that build is actually quite unique utilizing the taking damage earned from the four pieces hunter's fury gear set well the status effect builds wouldn't end there right now we will be having another creative setup and this time enemies will burn which would be your opening upon hitting them with those SMG and shotgun bonuses. This would be great even for solo as you gain crowd control with DPS as your core. Thus we present the Imperial Dynasty Exotic that would inflict burn status effects as the main highlight of our build. Moreover this video is going to be part 2 of playing along with the Hunter's Fury. How do we do it? So just to get the hang of it, let's get started. So upon equipping the Firewall Specialization, there are three essential talents here that would be totally useful with our burn-up build with the Hunter's Fury. First thing would be this one, Enrich Magnesium Formula. It would be on tier 5 and it will be giving 20% duration for our burns with the Imperial Dynasty and Creeping Death. Next thing would be the Fury Response and as you have seen on the first part of the video, upon armor breaks, 
enemies has been set on fire. And this will be applied to enemies within 5 meters. And lastly, this one, it is a striker shield. This is nothing new. It will be a modified version of the Crusader shield, wherein you can equip the Jet Stream Flamethrower, which is your specialized weapon. And upon using this, you can boost the damage of the user and all allies behind them based on the number of enemies in front of the shield. Right off the bat, we do have this item called Sweet Dreams. It is an exotic shotgun, and we have 1.4 million damage. That is only for 14.3 shotgun damage, 11% damage to armor, and 10% damage to target out of cover. Now, we will be using this shotgun just because of the instant kill for the talent called Sandman, wherein melee attacks instantly kill non-elite enemies. Cooldown is for 15 seconds. Again, non-elite enemies would be the red and purple ones. Next thing, I have chosen this SMG called Vector. If last time we have equipped the Mop and the Sweet Dreams, which are both shotguns, we will be going with an SMG build for the Hunter's Fury. Now, this Vector is an SMG with 77,000 damage, and I do have a God Roll for 15% SMG damage, 21% crit hit chance, and 10% damage to target out of cover. Now, this talent preservation will be totally helpful with the Hunter's Fury as well for further healing with our armor because killing the enemy repairs 10% armor over 5 seconds. Headshot kills improve the repair by additional 10%. Alright, so we will be coursing through our gears, but first let's go with the brand set. Now, I have equipped this backpack with the Badger Tough. Yes, as I have said earlier, we will be focusing with the SMG, but I have chosen the Badger Tough because that 10% shotgun damage will be totally significant. If we will be having 1.4 million damage, then we will be having a bonus additional damage of 140,000. So I think that will be more efficient if we will be going with the Badger Tough. But if you want to, you can go with Sokolov, but the main essential thing for this backpack is the talent called Creeping Death, wherein you apply a status effect. It is also applied to all enemies within 8 meters of your target. Cooldown, 15 seconds. This is an essential part of the build for our burn up because we will be using the Imperial Dynasty. This is an exotic gear and it is a holster. I have almost a god roll for 9.9 .9 status effects and 10% hazard protection. This will be causing the burn for our burn up build. While in combat, it applies burn to the enemy closest to you within 20 meters. Cooldown is for 35 seconds. So next thing, we will be going with the Hunter's Fury. This is our featured gear set. We will be having 15% shotgun damage, 15% SMG damage. That is both for two pieces. Three pieces, we will be having 20% armor and kill, 100% health on kill. Now for all of the four pieces, we will be having this Apex Predator, wherein enemies within 15 meters receive a debuff, amplifying your weapon damage against them by 20%. Killing a debuffed enemy with your weapon disorients other enemies within 5 meters and amplifies weapon damage by 5% for 10 seconds. So it stacks up to 5 times, so that's basically about 25%. So for the Hunter's Fury, I have one for the mask, chest, gloves, and with the knee pads. Now, as you can see, all of the gear pieces are in red core attributes that is to boost our weapon damage. And I highly recommend going for at least 12 to 13 percent of weapon damage for each of the gear pieces to have a decent amount coming from our weapons. Now, for the minor attributes, I have rolled each of the gear pieces for 12 percent crit hit damage. As you would notice, only the holster and the backpack got different core attributes. Well, for the holster, that one would be fixed for the skill tier because this is an exotic item. For the backpack, I have chosen the full roll of 170,000 because that will boost my armor which is now 913,000. And also choosing such will boost our armor and kill which is now 482,000 per kill. While equipping this blue and yellow core attribute would be totally beneficial for our shield and I'll be explaining to you later on why. But first, let's go with our first skill. This is a Blinder Firefly, which would be totally helpful with a Creeping Death as well if you have already used the effect coming from the Imperial Dynasty. Right now, we do have 42.4 seconds cooldown. Max targets are 5. Speed is 1.35 seconds, blind duration 6.5 seconds. We are in tier 1, plus 1 max targets, 35% speed, 
and 10% line effect duration. Next thing would be the shield. Now this is the one that I am referring to because those blue and yellow core attributes would be increasing our tiers. So this striker shield once again will be boosting the damage of the user and all allies behind them based on the number of enemies in front of the shield. So this is just like the crusader shield but this is an improved version. We do have 11% damage bonus per enemy, that is the bonus damage, 45 buff angle, buff range for 10 meters, cooldown is 18.2 seconds, and we do have here in tier 2 which is for 20% active regeneration, 66% shield health, and 10% holster regeneration. We do also have 1.2 buff strength. So on the last part of the video, I'll be showing you the preview of our stats. That's it for the video. If you like it, please give a thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel. I will really appreciate it for more upcoming Division 2 videos. Once again, you are watching Random Place. This is Radio Gamer. Over now.